friends welcome to day 22 of vlogmas today i am alone in the office and um that means we are gonna have a very christmasy day i'm keeping the top lights off as long as possible i've got my christmas lights on i'm going to play some christmas music maybe like lo-fi Christmas music or like one of those uh, YouTube channels that just plays like eight hours of coffee shop Christmas music, something. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then we have a office staff lunch today. We're going to get hibachi. So I have to look at the menu ahead of time and see what I wanna eat. And then, that's really it. That's really it. This is the last day uh, before our office is closed for the holiday. And so we'll be closed Friday and Monday. I should have just taken these two days off <laughs> and had a whole week. That's what I should have did. <sighs> Take your days off. Do that do that for yourself if you have days off and you can take them well if you have days off period take your days off <laughs> hi friends so I wanted to get on here just to give you guys an update about Kiva um, she's currently at the vet having x-rays done so they can see what's going on with her but um i don't know if i i don't i don't even remember how much i talked about this or if i talked about what's been going on with her but ever since she was little um she would have seizures and recently she has started having these episodes that we assumed were like the like non-convulsive seizures where she just kind of powers off. But we found out that um, she's having, it's like her blood pressure is dropping or something. So every time she'll be laying down, if she's laying down and gets up and walks, she will kind of pass out. But most of the time she's still able to stand through the thing. So it's kind of like she just stops moving and stands there for a while. Um, sometimes she is losing like control of her muscles, so she's not able to hold herself up. Um, this has been going on with her for about this 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 past Saturday, I think, was a week. So it's been going on for about a week and a half, and. Um, so we were able to get her into the vet today. And when Lamar walked in, she had one of the episodes. So they, they saw it firsthand, which I hate that they're happening and they're happening more frequently. I hate that they're happening more frequently, but um, I'm glad that she had one at the vet, you know? Um, we had been recording them to be able to show the vet what was going on just in case. But when they saw it, they they deter they looked listened to her heart and looked at her gums and they were able to see like her circulation is really bad. Her heart does not sound good, and um, so they're gonna do X-rays. I don't know what they're looking for, but they're looking for whatever it is that they look for in 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 their wisdom. Um, they said that there is potential for like medication for her to be put on to help with the heart situation. Um, so hopefully that will help her. But um, the vet that Lamar was talking to was telling him that her dog um, a few years ago had heart issues and um, they were able to put him on medication and. He got maybe a year and a half more um, before he passed. So we are definitely 
Um, I thought I got all my tears out, guys. So, um, keep sending her prayers and good vibes, and, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what else I was going to say, but I don't know how much more time I will have with Miss Kiva, but I'm... I'm so grateful that I was able to spend, shoot, how old am I? 36? That's what? I don't, I can't even think of what half of 36 is right now. 18? <laughs> Almost half of my life. Uh, the majority, the vast majority of my adult life with this dog. Um, even though she's not like a licensed uh, emotional support animal, she 100% has been that for me. Like, that is such a feely dog. <laughs> like, She is, she's the type of dog that, like, when I will be down or just, like, having a hard time with this life thing, she would come and just, like, sit next to me, or she would come and look at me, like, look at me in the face, like, you good? And she would, like, come and sit with me if I was crying or anything like that and she's she's a very good she's a very good girl and even though I have been telling myself you know um, I have been telling myself that the reality of the matter is that she is a very old girl even though even though I want her to be here you know what I mean but I've been telling myself or reminding myself that she's not gonna live forever and I guess today it's really feeling real that she's not going to live forever. That every, like every day that we get with her is extra. <laughs> so she's going to be getting all of the snuggles and all of the cuddles. Even though homegirl is not a snuggly and cuddly dog, she just gonna have to thug it out and let me snuggle her face. Cause it's gonna happen. And she's gonna get the treats. And, and the lovin's. But keep Keep praying for my little beagle, my little Jacoby. Um, I just, I don't want her to be in pain, you know? And sometimes I look at her and I'm just like, what can I do to help you? So, Lamar said he was going to call me. He's at the vet with her. But he said he's going to call me to give me an update um, 
when when the vet contacts him when they finish doing whatever it is they're doing but he's gonna let me know the update um and yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know because i know that i know that kiva and tootie are the reason that y'all watch this channel <laughs> kiva tootie and my mom all i do is push the buttons but um just if you ever think about me randomly during the day just say a prayer for kiva send her some good vibes and um I would appreciate that so I'm gonna go get some water and get ready to go to this work lunch because that's what I really want to be doing right now Hi friends, so I'm off work a little bit early. Um, I'm headed home. Lamar called and gave me an update. Well, he didn't call, I called him. <laughs> I called Lamar and got an update on Kiva and she, um, they did the x-rays and they found that the right side of her heart is enlarged. So she's put on two different medications that are supposed to help with that. So um, we have a follow-up in like a week um, to check on it. Lamar said that she is at home and they're all snuggled in the bed. Um, that makes me very happy. I'm glad that she's home. I'm glad that she's resting. Um, he also said that the vet said no exertion. That means no walks, no um, you know, no nothing. So we have to take her outside. We have to carry her outside and you know, when she has to use the bathroom and stuff like that, which I'm completely okay with she's my widow pumpkin and I will definitely do that for her um, but I am at a plant store right now because I want to buy myself a feel-good plant then I'm gonna go to Walmart um, I gotta I, I saw these little provided I can do this by hand like I can I can make this kit with things that we already have in the house so I might not actually buy this but I saw these little ornament kits where you like make your either your pet's paw print or your kid's hand print and I want I want to make one for Kiva because this might be her last Christmas God willing it's not like but If it is, I would hate to have not done something special. So I'm going to stop before I start crying again. Because nobody wants to go in the plant stove with red eyes. So. <sighs> Let's go see if I can find a plant that will make me smile. <laughs> Friends, this is not how you deal with tough situations. You do not go out and buy things. But I'm going to do it anyway. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay?
is a wish list plant. I want this plant very much. But like, ooh. Pricey, pricey. I didn't get the wish list plant, <laughs> but I did get an Adansonii, which is the one with the holes, and this Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole. I'm not a fan of the fuzzy petiole, that's like the fuzzy stem bit there, but this leaf though. It was only $10, so yeah. Oh. Whenever I take anything from under my hair, I feel like I'm going to get choked out. <laughs> or not choked out, but I, I feel like, like my neck is going to get twisted because my hair just holds on for dear life. But anyway. So, I got two plants. One is a new to me plant, the Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole. And the other one is my... It's definitely my feel-good plant, the Monstera Adansonii. <sighs> this day is a lot. And it's, it's not even just a lot for me. Like, the other executive assistants are also going through shenanigans and tomfoolery in their own personal lives so i was talking to well and and my boss i was talking to my boss on the way to lunch because she asked me to to come back to campus and pick her up but um luckily i had just left and i was literally just around the corner but i was talking to my boss and i was like you know is this is this one of those times where I don't know, like, is God wanting to know? My mom says this a lot. She says that you will have experiences where God wants to know how you're going to react. And a lot of times that is, you know, the question when you're going through a whole bunch of stuff, you know, like a whole bunch of poop hits the fan. And it's important to, to think how how am I going to react to this? I can just go off the deep end. I could do that. Or I can choose to find the good in the situation. And sometimes that is hard. <laughs> very hard. It's sometimes it's very hard. Yeah. I can't even say anything else. like what 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 can be said that best describes how hard it can be to find a good thing in any situation like what can be said that best describes that <sighs> so I just have to I just keep reminding myself that at the end of the day I believe that God has my best interests at heart I believe I believe that and even though Keith is just a dog I believe that God has her best interest at heart too and I know that I'm I am glad that we were able to take her to the vet and to find this stuff out and, you know, and then not that, not that I was taking our time, you know, taking her time for granted, but I feel like I'm even more, like I value it even more now because there's like a, there's a there's a there's a a countdown on it. This is, I just this whole conversation has gotten really morbid, and I'm sorry, friends. 
<sighs> but there is good everywhere somewhere there is good and I'm going to go home and I'm going to not annoy my little dog I'm going to do my best I'm gonna do my best not to annoy her, but there will be snuckles. There will be ear scritchings and belly rubs and nose boops. There will be all of those things. But I'm glad she's at home. All day I kept having this reoccurring like thought like oh my gosh what if when they're doing the x-rays something happens and she has a heart attack and dies at the vet you know those thoughts I'm glad she's at home like I just want to I just want to be like I'm not coming into work I am working from home until further notice <laughs> so I can spend every waking moment looking at my dog in the face <laughs> she don't even be stunting me when i'm at home though like homegirl be in her bed underneath our bed like she ain't even trying to hang out with your girl but that's all right because she gonna hang out today <laughs> onward we go He's got a Grinch shirt on too. I love it. I don't know if you can see this, but it's peacocks in the road. Excuse me. Is that a pea hen? Oh, I've never seen a pea hen. Ma'am, get out the street. And you see the you see the peacock? The peacock. Oh, he was flying. This, the, oh my gosh, just why? They're all over there at the gas station. Let me tell you how terrified I would be if I was in that gas station and all these peacocks rolled up to the door. But why? But why? Allegedly, there's somebody um, in the area who bred peacocks, and, and now it's just out of hand. There's just wild peacocks everywhere. <laughs> Hashtag Florida. <laughs> I watched a peacock attack a car once, and um, that, that bird gouged the metal of the car. So... Peacocks, they're pretty, but they're also not to be messed with. <clears throat> Just, mm. Hi, everybody. It is day number 11. One more day before my quan... Uh, no. <laughs> before my advent calendar is over but we will enjoy these last two days um the one thing that the thing that happened today was it was so busy because today was the last day of school before the holidays and wouldn't you know it there were some kids who got in trouble and they had to sit in my office well, in our little breezeway. And I told them when I went to get them from the classroom, I looked back at them because I was walking really fast back to my office, trying to make them walk fast. And I looked back at them and said, oh no, you're not going home. You will stay here all day. <laughs> and that's what they did. They had to stay there all day. But I was glad that today was over. But during the day, we were able to get all the presents out. And there were so many presents. We have just been overly blessed at my school. I sat down and I looked at how many children were blessed and families that were blessed. We did 24, we touched 24 families. Mm. 
for this holiday season. So I am just excited about that. Um, the last one left at around 6.30. So it was a blessing. So that's the highlight of today, being able to deliver or get all the presents out. And that's really good because last year, somebody didn't get their presents. Aww. And they were still there when we got back to school. So, but this year, everybody got their presents. And we, I did this one where we gave to our um, academic award winners. Every nine weeks when we have the end of the marking period, we have a, a big assembly to give out the uh, super senator of the, the marking period and the academic award winners and the citizenship award, you know. And so we had our, our, our super senators, of course, I told you they went to eat at Chick-fil-A and they, they rode in limousines. So that they were excited about that. But our academic award winners, they end up getting presents today. And I laid out all the all the toys on the table and the children got to come and choose what they wanted. And one little girl went back to her classroom and she told her teacher, she says, look at what I have. She says, this is exactly what I wanted. And I was like, oh my. And the kids were saying, how did she get that? And the teacher said, because she's smart. You know, you all need to be smart too. You know, so. So that was just really just warm my heart to know that she was able to get exactly what she wanted, which were glow in the dark headphones. That's what she really wanted. So we had that for her. So those were the blessings of the day. But now it's time to open day 11 from the most wonderful time of the year in my bag. Let's see what Kalisha has done for me now. All right, let's see here. Oh, look like I got a big box of candy. Double chocolate. Oh, this is not candy. It says double chocolate coconut cocoa mix. Get it together. I know, get it together. Get down. I'll take I'll do this one probably tomorrow. Because it's supposed to be really cold here tomorrow. It's supposed to snow. So we'll yeah. We're, I'm going to do this tomorrow. And then I have, oh, nice. These are almost like the other ones. They are. They have tassels on them. Mm -hmm. Now, now this, the other one reminded me of turtle backs. Mm -hmm. Well, this reminded me of um, uh, uh, peppermint. Mm -hmm. A peppermint candy. Yes. I love it, Kalisha. You guys see that? That is beautiful. Now, Kalisha, you said, did you make this pattern? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So did you did you put it anywhere so that they can see what it is? No, I haven't written it down. You haven't written it down yet? Oh, no. my goodness. I love it. It looks just like a peppermint. It looks like crushed peppermint. Yes, I love that. Guys, you see that? You know, that's really cute. And it's going to go on my tree. Mm -hmm. My tree is getting really full. Let me just, hold up. Let me just show <laughs> you all my tree. I guess I should just flip the camera, huh? Mm -hmm. That would make a, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we are. And by the way, I'm wrapping presents. <laughs> this is my tree. And you see all the ornaments that Kalisha's made for me on there, all the way around there. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to put these on there too. Okay. I didn't want you all to see all the, the things that are all around me. I have not had an opportunity to do anything for my family because I was doing everything for work. But now that today was the last day, I can start working on things for my family. I had also planned tonight to make sweet potato pies, but that's not going to happen. I Aww. will have to wait till tomorrow. And maybe Kalisha will come on and I can show her some of the things that I was making. She's always said, I want to learn how to make sweet potato pies, but I don't use a recipe. She don't be I measuring. Put a little bit of this, you know, I tell her, shake this much and put this much in and it just works out. So she's mm -hmm. going to have to watch me and do as I do. 
<laughs> when I'm doing it. That way she can do it. But guys, I really appreciate these Kalisha. They are beautiful, just like Christmas. Yes, <laughs> yes, I love them. I will put them on my tree as soon as we get off the line. Okay, All okay. right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I told Kalisha we need to hurry up and do this because it's 1137 and I don't want to go to 12 o'clock because that's another day. So we had to get it done now. So I'm glad that I was on here and I'm glad we were able to get it done. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you the next time. Goodbye, everybody. You guys are just, stop stepping on my feet. You're heavy. Yeah. It's nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Tootie, go in your new crate. Go in your pillow. It's nice, yes? I bought it for you from IKEA. It's brand new. It's brand new. Yeah, hello little girl. Why are your eyes weepy? And your eyes are real weepy. You've been crying. You've been crying because your sister is in poor health? Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs>